Hey guys, what's going on? It's Kyle from the Musa store. And today I just want to share a quick video on our Gas and Dynamics enhanced AOPC play carriers. I came from the mud, dirt on my hands. Now these play carriers are fairly new to the market. They've only been around for maybe a couple years. Not a lot of people know about these play carriers. You may have heard of Gas and Dynamics before with some of the other stuff that we carry or they carry that you may have seen on the market, but these plate carriers are new to the Musa store. And I just wanted to give you guys a quick little tutorial on what these feature. All right guys, so some of the features that you get standard with this Gas and Dynamics AOPC are, for example, the shoulder pads. They come standard with each one, so you don't have to order those separate. The next thing you get is the first spear tubes. Those are great for quick donning and doffing of the plate carrier. Next is the cummerbund. The cummerbund, the one that you'll probably want, is the three mag cummerbund on each side. So on each side you have three mags that you can fit into that elastic nylon. I would recommend either uh, a 556 AR or 762 AK mags because they are this, roughly the same size and, and this cummerbund was designed for those. Now if you have a bigger 308 mag like a scar mag or something else you can fit them in there however you, it's, you're gonna have to fight that material a little bit because it wasn't designed for that. You can still carry it but keep in mind that maybe over time, you might see a little more wear and tear than you normally do with your standard 5x6 mag. All right, so on these front panels of these AOPCs, we have a different system that, than you may normally be used to. Uh, typically, we insert our plates from the bottom and then you have this big Velcro flap that comes in underneath and that's what holds the plate in place. What Gatson Dynamics did was that they basically cut the front uh, plate carrier, they, they cut it in half so now you have this top portion that's attached to the shoulder pads and you have this bottom portion that's pretty much standalone. And the way they connect to each other is a Velcro belt all the way around. And that's what holds the, the plate in there. The great thing about that is that you don't get that wear and tear on the bottom like you may do with your bottom inserting uh, plate carriers. Uh, you know, the Velcro may give or something like that. However, the, the con there is that it is kind of hard or time consuming to put on. And I mean time consuming, I mean like maybe three, four minutes to put this on. The great thing about that lower plate bag here on the bottom is that you have choices on what you can carry. So for example, on this first one, we have your standard triple AR mag pouch that's sewn into that lower plate bag because again, that is a standalone thing. You don't have to add a placard or anything like that. It comes that way. The second choice that you have is your triple AR mag plus your triple pistol mag. And again, that's sewn into that lower plate bag. So you just take that off and put your new one on, or you can buy either one, depending on which one, what kind of systems you run. The third one is basically Velcro Molly panel. And I think it's like four or five layers of, of Molly loop, but it, it is Molly. So you can either slap on a placard that you may have, or you can use the Molly to insert something that is Molly mounted. Regardless of which lower plate bag you get, you have this buckle system on the top of each plate carrier. And now what that buckle is, allows you to do is if you have a pre-existing placard, those buckles, you just put them right in there for added security. If you don't want those buckles because they just don't apply to you, on the back of the buckle, it's split. So you can just weave that nylon through there and just take the buckles off completely. All right guys, so moving on to the back side of this plate carrier, there is a couple standard features worth mentioning. On the top here, what you have is you have standard Velcro loop Molly panels on the top. You have five rows, that way you can attach something via Velcro or run it through the Molly system if that's what your accessory calls for. On the bottom of the plate here, you just have five standard rows of Molly panel. There's no Velcro there again, but it gives you lots of kind of real estate to attach a hydration system or a backpack or anything that you could think of that you may need for your application. And those all come standard. With this Gats and Dynamic Enhanced AOPC, they come standard cut for sappy plates. Now, there are other choices outside of the Musa store. However, on the Musa store, we just made it easy for you guys because really, who I don't know anybody who runs anything really other than sappy plates. Yes, you have like swim or shooter cut plates, but most of the guys that I know run sappy plates and that's the option that we wanted to afford to you guys so that there is no confusion on what plate I should get, right? Now, speaking of plates, these pair really well with the Hoplite armor that we carry on the store. So if you check out Hoplite and you check out the AOPC, they're made for one another and they pair really well. All right guys, so the AOPCs that we carry on the Musa store, they are designed for sappy plates. Now, if you have pre-existing sappy plates, then that's gonna fit in here just perfect. If you don't, I recommend checking out the Hoplite Armor sappy plates that we carry on the Musa store. They are level fours, but they pair really well together and we've got a lot of good feedback from the customers that have bought these together. 
All right, so there you go, guys. This is your video on Gas and Dynamics Enhanced AOPC from the Musa store. Go on the Musa store and check these out. Check out Hoplite Armor. And if you have any questions, you know, DM us, shoot us an email, or put it in your comment section and we'll go back to you. All right, cheers.